today on the net, the UN observer mission to Syria called into question. Web users campaigning for a Bahraini activist on a hunger strike for more than 100 days. And a simple browser plugin that can make the words on a web page disappear. Shelling in Rastan. This footage was reportedly filmed in the rebel stronghold over the past few days where the Free Syrian Army has been trying to defend the city against attacks by forces loyal to the Damascus regime. A ceasefire came into force in Syria over a month ago, but despite the presence of United Nations observers across the country, it's been violated on a daily basis. The UN observer mission's inability to end the violence was demonstrated last week by two amateur videos that have been widely relayed online. The first was apparently filmed on Tuesday during a funeral procession in Khan Shikon. It shows a UN observer crawl along the ground to escape security forces gunfire before being pulled to safety by civilians. The second is said to show a rally held at Aleppo University on Friday. We see students being beaten up by men in uniform under the helpless gaze of a UN observer who shut himself away in a car nearby. As we can see from these banners being waved in recent demonstrations across the country, the Observer mission is receiving increasing criticism. Residents in Alcacer have asked the observers to stay away. Their previous visit to the region had apparently been followed by a violent wave of repression. So the Blue Helmets have been criticised for their ineffectiveness in ending the violence and also for their general attitude. Some say they've not been cooperating with activists on the ground. In this video filmed in Dera, one of them appears to be refusing to answer questions from an opposition activist. Bahraini activist Abdul Hadi Al Khawaja has now been on hunger strike for more than 100 days in protest of his imprisonment and the human rights abuses committed by the authorities. Al Khawaja was sentenced to life in prison back in June for his involvement in the anti government protests and has become one of the symbols of Bahrain's opposition movement which began last year, calling for political reforms in the small kingdom. The jailed activist has received strong support from web users who have been posting messages on social media platforms demanding his immediate release. Posts which highlight his incredible courage, describing a man who's prepared to die for his beliefs and has chosen to make his voice heard through the most peaceful form of protest. And with the majority of web users hailing Al Khawaja's unwavering will and determination, some are also expressing concerns over his state of health. Elaine Murtag, for example, who's a member of the European Bahraini Organization of Human Rights, has published a Twitter post accusing the kingdom's authorities of torturing the jailed activist by force-feeding him. Her comments have been partially corroborated by Al Khawaja's lawyer, who was recently able to visit his client, and says he is regularly mistreated but remains more determined than ever. And with Al Khawaja remaining in prison, people the world over are encouraged to continue campaigning on his behalf by, for example, sending in photos to this Facebook page for the Bahraini activist. Photos which show them holding up a poster, calling upon the government to release him from prison at the earliest possible opportunity. In just one click, turn the web into a huge picture book devoid of all words. Facebook employee G. Lee has teamed up with computer programmer Corey Forsyth to create this simple browser plugin. You just have to visit the wordless web website and drag this button to your bookmarks bar on your web browser. Then, as you're surfing the web, you click on it and all the words on the page you're visiting will disappear as if by magic, leaving you to enjoy the images in their purest form. Car manufacturer Kia has launched an online dance contest in honour of the Euro 2012 Football Cup, of which it is a sponsor. To take part and perhaps win tickets to one of the matches, you just have to film yourself dancing to the Flux Pavilion track, I Can't Stop, and then send your video to the competition's Facebook page, where dozens of entries are already available to view. Dave Herban is a body piercer and tattoo artist from New Jersey in the US, and he came up with a completely crazy idea of implanting four small magnets into his arm so he could wear his MP3 player without having to wear a strap. You can see how he went about it in this video, along with the end result. A surprising display of creativity, to say the least, proving, if nothing else, that music really is an integral part of his life.